Hello dear students, once again we are back with a new video on a new problem of section of solid and development of lateral surface. So here we are been given with square pyramid of 40 mm side of base and 70 mm height stands with its base on HP. Its two side of the base are parallel to VP and AIP that is auxiliary inclined plane cuts the pyramid passing through the point on the axis 30 mm from the apex and inclined at HP to HP at 60 degrees. Draw the DLS of pyramid assuming that the apex to be removed also show the true shape of the section. Right. So the problem is uh, where we have been given with a solid that is square pyramid of given dimension that is 40 and height 70. Right. Uska orientation is that the side parallel hai VP ko. Auxiliary inclined plane that is it is perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. Right. So it is AIP that cuts the pyramid passing through the point on the axis 30 mm from the apex. So to begin with the very first is uh, we draw line XY. Right. And the dimensions are given we need to take a suitable distance. We draw a square of 40 by 40 with the help of roller skill we consume less of the time while drawing This is how we have a square pyramid, right? And we need to show it by the slant edges. That will be the diagonal of the square pyramid. Jaise ki square pyramid apka HP pe rakha hai, therefore true shape of the base is visible in the top. Therefore we have started with the top view first. Right. And now we project it to get the front view. We have the height with us. Height is how much? It is 70. So this will be the axis. So we mark point 70 on this. And we get that isoscalar triangle in the front. So this is the front view and the top view. So section plane ka orientation hume diya hai ki apex se 30 mm ke distance pe hai. So 30 mm ke distance pe we mark a point. We draw a horizontal line. Right. And the angle is how much? 60 degrees. So with the help of the protector we mark 60 over here right so dono condition satisfy ho rahe 40 uh, 60 degrees bhi hai aur apex se 30 mm ki duri pe bhi hai so this will be the section plane we Label the points. So this is one, two, three, and four. So this will be one dash, two dash, three dash, and four dash. O dash for the apex. And now we need to label the section points. So section points will be one. as it is cutting both the side right so this is the diagonal which shows the slant edge 
उसके पीछे कट होगा टू सो वन डैश टू डैश देन हियर वी हैव थ्री डैश एंड फोर डैश सो दिस आर द सेक्शन पॉइंट्स दैट वी गेव so to get the true shape what we do is we draw a line perpendicular to this point so set the protector and mark 90 right so we'll get a projector like this So with the help of ruler scale, we can transfer it from the other point. Another projector over here. So meanwhile, let us get the sectional top view, right? To get the sectional top view, we project the points over here. So, ये projection यहाँ पे गिरेगा और three और four का We have a here, right? So this point will give you one. This will give you two. Or you can uh, label A B C D. That is also fine. So labeling is not an issue. One, two, three, and this will be your four. So connecting them will give us. the sectional top view and then it could be shown by hidden lines to humne kya kar liya apex ko remove kiya apex ko remove karne ke baad hame aisa shape mil raha hai So you can show it by hatching lines. So now to get the true shape, we draw line x one y one, which will be parallel to the section plane, right? So we take the roller scale with the help of roller scale. We draw line x one y one parallel to the section plane, and now we measure the distances of the sectional point in the top from x y. So this is our x y line. Measure the distance place it over. X one Y one, and get the point. So this will be one. One. Similarly, for point two, we repeat the same procedure. We measure the distance of point two from X Y, place it on X one Y one, and mark the point. Similarly, for point three and four, we do the same. This is three, and this is point number four. Right. So this is how the true shape will appear. Connecting the points and labeling the points. So this is one one. Right. So one is closer, two is far away. So this is two one. Similarly, three is far away. Three one and four one. So these are the points we obtain and connect the points. We'll get the true shape of the section.
show it by hatching lines. So this is the true shape. the section that is obtained this is the sectional top view right so sectional top view right so this is done till you over here and now we are interested in what the development part right abhi jo hame ye jo slant ag mil raha hai is it the true length of the slant edge is a question so if we ask this question ye jo side hai o1 or o2 o2 and o1 this slant edge is not parallel to xy or parallel to vp that means this length is not the true length so to get the true length what we do is this is very careful listen to this very carefully we take this distance o1 in the compass aur ye jo line hai hum isko kya karte hai isko parallel laate hai right we bring this line parallel so isko mark karenge aur yahan se hum kya karenge parallel line banane ki koshish karenge so we draw a parallel line from here तो so, ये जो लाइन है इसको हमने क्या किया हॉरिजॉन्टल किया दैट मीन्स दिस इज नॉट पैरल टू वीपी एंड नाउ वी प्रोजेक्ट दिस इन द फ्रंट ये फ्रंट पे प्रोजेक्ट किया बराबर अभी इसको कनेक्ट करेंगे ओ डैश के साथ नाउ दिस लेंथ व्हाट वी गेट इज द ट्रू लेंथ ऑफ द स्लांट हाइट क्लियर है और इस लैंड हाइट पे हम ये बाकी के पॉइंट्स ट्रांसफर करेंगे राइट right? इनिशियली जो पहले था वो अपेरेंट लेंथ था और वो अपेरेंट हाइट थे तो ये पॉइंट्स इधर ट्रांसफर कर दिए यहाँ पे सिमिलरली थ्री और फोर को भी हम ट्रांसफर करते इस पे राइट सो यू कैन लेबल दिस एज वन वन डैश एंड दिस एज थ्री वन डैश राइट नाउ दिस इज दिस इज समथिंग डिफरेंट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम राइट ये हमारे लिए नया था सीखने के लिए तो ये जो नई स्लांट हाइट है जो ट्रू लेंथ वाली है इसको हम उठाएंगे राइट right? और क्या करेंगे विल गेट एन आर्क विल ट्राई एंड गेट एन आर्क द साइड इज हाउ मच द साइड इज 40. So let us give the dimension. The written portion जो है इसको आप dark बना सकते हो right? So this is the written portion which is supposed to be made dark. और जो भी hatching वाला area रहता है उसको हमेशा हम क्या करते हैं डार्क से ही दिखाते हैं रिप्रेजेंटेशन दिखाते राइट सो दिस लेंथ इज हाउ मच दिस इज फोर्टी That is the side of the square pyramid. So extension line, arrowheads, proper arrowheads, and show it a forty mm, right? Here the angle is how much? The angle is sixty. So we can show it by this way also. This angle is how much? Sixty degrees, and the height at which it is cutting the axis from the apex is how much? It is thirty mm. So each point should be labeled, and each dimension should be shown. 
similarly height can be also shown the height is 70 mm right now we take this distance in the compost that is the side of the square pyramid so the side of base of the square pyramid and we mark out over here so this is 40 this is 40 so we can label this as 1 2 3 4 and back to 1 right so we connect the points As it's a square pyramid so this will be straight lines over here the side like ye hum aksar chhut jata hai this has to be shown by straight lines that is 40 right and this is O so now we take this distance jo humne naye generator pe distance liya hai one or two ka this distance we mark it over here he have a mark earlier similarly to be mark area or one wapas se repeat hora ya hape said ya hape be mark area right development mein one two three four start kia one se wapas se khatam karenge one pe right and then we take the distance of three and four on this generator mark it over here and over here right so now we can connect it with the help of scale pyramid hai to straight line aayega cone or cylinder mein curves aate hai free hand se bhi bana sakte ya fir aap french curve se bhi bana sakte ho to yahan pe pyramid hai square pyramid hai We'll try and draw it by straight lines. This cut development over here, right? So we'll label this as one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, and opposite one dash. So this is the development of the pyramid. So, sectional front view, sectional top view, true shape of the section and development of the pyramid. So, I hope you have understand the problem, or you have understood the problem and the concept, right? This is new in this problem. This slant height is not parallel to HP, I mean to VP or XY. So, we make it parallel to VP. We take this distance, we rotate it and transfer and now we get this line. This is the new slant height. With the help of this slant height, we take this distance and radial distance, and draw an arc and on this we transfer the points and get it over here. Thank you dear student. Please do like. Have a good day.